to, though? Uh, I've actually been dealing with a flood of questions about reloading equipment. Uh, I actually asked some questions on Twitter about reloading equipment. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also, I got a bunch of questions this morning. Walmart announced that they're buying Vudu, which oh, is an wow. online streaming website. Basically, they stream video. I'm getting a ton of tweets about that. I love Netflix, but Vudu streams astonishingly good 1080p video. They do it basically to Blu-ray players and HD TVs. They do it from a host of vendors. Pretty much, I think, I want to say everybody but Panasonic and Sony. Um, personally, I'm hoping Walmart grows the company to the point where they push Netflix and Amazon to stream more HD content. They've got amazing compression technology, and they've got studio and consumer electronics relationships. I want to see where it all grows to. I want more, better video streaming online. Nice. Oh, and hey, in the wow, how the heck did that site get so freaking huge, Twitter is now carrying 50 million tweets a day, up from 2.5 in the beginning of 2009. Which was up from, like, I think 300,000 or a couple hundred thousand it's a year before that. It's unbelievable, isn't it? They did a graph, and the graph is like, la, 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 It's like the and hockey stick. Yeah, and then the hockey stick shoots to the ceiling. Oh, my goodness. And they're not counting spam, either. That's all, like, actual real people tweets. Really? Yeah. I want to know how they do the methodology on that. Like, if they can not count yeah. the s spammer stuff, can, how can they, why am I still... There's like been a new form of spam. I don't want you don't want to. It's, it's gotten better with me that. lately, actually. I, I've somehow managed to not get as many spam replies as I used to. Now I'm getting replies about the Netherlands TV station called Veronica, and so I learn all about my programming. Well, apparently there's all the time. There's like, like I played a, Black Back to the Future the other day, really? and, and I pay, uh, played. Um, oh, I can't remember. Why did you play that movie? <laughs> apparently, there's a Brazilian rapper named Texilla. Yes. Oh, I definitely know that. I okay. see those responses all the time. <laughs> I'm like, we are not rappers. There are no milk jokes We could try to yard. rap about what technology, but about? no creepy. one would enjoy that. No. That would be terrible. Uh, yeah, that would be funny, actually. <laughs> you getting your hip-hop on. Hey, if you've been using InfoWorld's Windows Sentinel, Office Bench, or any other variation of Devil Mountain software's Clarity Suite, you might want to take a moment to uninstall it, completely uninstall it. It turns out the whole Exo Performance Network that uh, Randall Kennedy is from, he's like an IDG writer, has been using it to pound on Microsoft. Well, it turns out they leave a couple ports open in your system, which is probably nothing intentional. But oddly enough, it was run by the IDG writer that trumpeted the info it gathered all the time, while apparently also acting as Devil Mountain CTO under a fake name. Creepy. Ooh. Yeah. That's not good. So all of this heavily quoted information from this third-party company was actually kind of a prince. One of the writers at IDG was one of the principals. They have severed their relationship Ouch. completely, utterly, and totally.